Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. Same day, just a different day of time for me than last episode. Um, last time we did the... What is it called here? Um, Midra's Mans and the rest of the Abyssal Woods. And we started going through the Dragon area. And today we will finish the Dragon part. Upcoming is a fight against two dragons uh, that are also fighting each other, which is the unique part. For that, I'm going to use this fire resistance stuff. And uh, let's see if Mimic Tear even works. I mean, obviously it works, but if it makes any sense, any difference, whatever. Buff up. And we need to find... Which one is the... Oh, this one over here. The one with the lightning. Excuse me. He's rotting, nice. No, no, stay there. It's a good position. Ah, shit. No, 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 no. Poor torrent. Where's my... Oh, my Mimic Tear despawned, I guess? Ah, oh, that's what... That was the wrong dragon. Oh, fire again. Okay, fall over, that's good. No second hit. Okay, both the same attack. Holy shit. Such a clusterfuck. Ah, Come on. What are they doing? This one is doing nothing. Good for me. This one is doing some fire action. Ah, uh, Egon, shut up. Can't even see his face. Uh, Drake Warrior, dear friend, grant me this one wish. Take this finger, my finger, scale the jagged peak, face veil the dread, and when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. 
and my soul yet lies on the mountain. Proud Drake warrior, I beg of you, scale the jagged peak, summon me. All right. Okay, one uh, encounter done, two to go. Well, no, two to go. I was, I was correct. Uh, now I'm. Oh, I already have the lightning defense one equipped. Ugh. That's the thing. Now we are fighting an ancient dragon, which is not going to be fun. I don't like fighting ancient dragons, especially not while standing in the water. Oh, this is interesting. In front of us, there are boulders that roll down, but we can simply either go to the right, like here, we can dodge to the right, or what we also could have could have done is before they even start, we can take this route over here. Which lets, uh, lets us bypass both boulders. Very simply. Because we still want this item down here. Another shadow tree fragment, which is very important. And then we have this part. Uh, Dragon is sleeping there. I'm out of cerulean. Estes, so what I'm just going to do is ignore him and go this way. Senesax so has to wait just a tiny bit. I mean, I'm definitely coming back, but first I want to rest. Bunch of dead dragons here. So we clearly have two factions fighting here. One faction belongs to Placidusex, and the other faction belongs to Bale. Um, Bale's faction easily, I mean you can easily find out who belongs to Bale's faction because they're all using this fire lightning breath and have a fire lightning aura. And then usually the dragons that fight on the side of Placidus X either are ancient dragons, the ones with infused with the red lightning, or just regular drakes, I guess. Like we've seen like the minor drake that or dragon that we just fought alongside the dragon belonging to Bale. The one without the boss health bar, just with a regular health bar. So let's go back down and fight... Uh, whatever this one's name was, can't remember. Um, mimic tear out. Bestial Vitality, Flask, Golden Vow, onto Torrent, try not to stand in the water, oops I don't want to hit with, yeah, which is not going to work, getting impaled by a spear, oh nice. I can't even roll him. Yeah. Great. <sighs> See rotting? I think it is, yeah. Ah, 
Uh, it's a line in front of him. Okay, don't want to stand in the water. That's for sure. Doing the wind attack. Some f oh, I missed. Oh, unfortunate. Nope, took another hit. What's he doing? He's trying backwards. Ah. Uh. Okay, there we go. This weapon is pretty good. Do we get anything from that? Upgrade materials. Uh, I think it's worth it. Upgrade materials are always nice. Always nice to to have. Um, give me that. I think that's it, right? I can go back to the jag jagged peak mountain, whatever. That's the right one, right? Yeah, good. And now we're technically already in front of Bale. There is just this passage where we have to navigate through where there's a bunch of lightning coming down. And there are a few things to do here, but let's wait until the lightning is completely gone. And with a few things, I think I only mean one. There's a painting that we can have a look at. I think by jumping down here we can get to the location of the painting, but as you can see, a bunch of lightning coming down. Not very pleasant, so let's let's do this after beating Bale. Almost jumped into lightning there. And there are a bunch of slimes hanging on the ceiling, as you can see, dropping down. I just want to have the ancient drink smithing stone over here, and then I'm on my way again. And then we are already in front of Bale's arena. There we go. Very simple. Let's see, can I level up a few times? Yes, I can. Where do I want to put my points? I can go with more endurance for even heavier stuff. I think that's a good idea. Now, you know what's going to happen. Um, do I... Okay, it's enough to take this off. Right. Of course this is going to happen. Like the poking stick. So, a small question that I want to ask myself is... Do I want my Mimic tier to have the shield or a talisman? And I think the answer is the talisman, because... Mimic tier is not utilizing shields very well. But I also want to get rid of Stone of Garang. And I want to give the Mimic tier the opportunity to heal itself. Um, question now is, do I want to use Lords here? I think that might be... I think that might be the only viable thing here. Let's quickly see how quick that is. I mean, it's fairly decent. Of course, a heal from afar would be the best choice because it's faster. But I don't think that the Mimic tier is aiming on itself. If it's even doing the spell. Of course, it would be nice, but I'm not counting on that. Um, do I want to give anything else? Do I not have that one? Let me quickly go to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Where is... oh, over there. Um, 
think I want this. Well, technically, I can just get everything here, right? Just enough for that. Alright. Um, mainly, I wanted Grails. Raw, I think it's called. Maybe that's a good thing for the Mimic tier to use, who knows? I don't think I will utilize... Oh, maybe... Nah. If I give M Mimic tier the options to cast these, then... Uh, let's do it like that. Put the Roar in here. Use... Where is it? Where? There. Is that, and then... Magic damage negation, lightning... Uh, isn't there one buff against all damage types? Or am I just misremembering things? Because the problem now is, uh, obviously the, bo the boss is going to deal lightning and fire damage, but I don't know to which degree, if you know what I mean. What is affinity? Oh, this is the one. Okay. For some reason I thought this would have been um, the resistances, not the elemental res like uh, re robustness and stuff. No, resistances, not damage negation, right. Um, but I was wrong, which is good. Mm, anyways, I'm buffing up. Golden Bow. New protection of the earth tree and the zip up. Then, do I need to wait for him to land? Yeah, I do. That's the thing. Okay, now I have time. Summon Mimic here. Hello. Where is. Oh, that's the grab. Shit. There's the summon sign for Egon. The fuck is going on? What? Why is it hitting me? Where is the origin of... Huh? Where he's doing his thing. His wings are restored. And he's flying through the wall. He's using a roar. Is he doing it? Yeah. No? Ah, oh, I thought he was doing his version of the nuke. Okay, my Mictir has no chance. Not the way I built the tier. Fuck. 
What are these weird sounds? Is that Egon? I'll just block it, it's fine. Just block it. Mute. Oh. Oh, it's, it's really Egon. That sounds so weird when he's doing that scream. Let me hit that lag. Oh, you're poisoned. Can we see Placidus X's heads in his side? No, not really. Bail the dread! You shall haunt me no longer! Okay, dude. Like the cool. Uh, sadly, I didn't capture that. I was kind of forgetting that. But I think to remember when I first fought Bayer, like on my very first playthrough of this DLC, um, when he is dying, like when Bayer is dying, you saw his claw, his lightning claw, being up in the air. He wanted to strike. I think it looked like that. Like he wants to strike, but then. Uh, Egon is shooting a like like an arrow, like a giant arrow into his chest, and so killing killing Bale. I think might be wrong though. Um, now Egon is here. Let's talk to Egon before we talk to Florisex or whatever her name is. Uh, Egon is up here. Right, and now we can also, I don't know, put on normal gear again. Uh, let's play with the... No idea. Let's play with the katana a bit. The great one. Where do I even find this thing? Okay, I can't, I can't find it. Where, where the fuck? There, for fuck's sake. Put this away uh, and get normal stuff here. Maybe this one. Can I? Oh, I can. Nice. I want to get some HP regeneration, I guess. So. Let's do. Lightning is still there. Egon shouldn't be here. Lying dead on the ground, I guess. Because we only summoned his spirit, right? He died at this on this spot. Now we get his whole stuff. Bell bearing and all. Now let's talk to the Dragon Communion Priestess, who is Florisex, I think. Now oh, we can't talk to her because that is it. We get the priestess's heart and the flower stone gather. Weapon of the dragon commune and priestess, a dragon stone hammer resembling an ancient flower. And the four petals and the flower's core are all shaped ending in points and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. And that's a pretty cool weapon. Uh, Egon stuff. I'm of the Broken Drake Warrior Egon from a set comprised of uh, a miscellany, whatever, of parts. Uh, filthy belongings are attached to this tattered piece 
of protective wear and the poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through dragon communion right if we have a look at his armor wherever it might be there like we can see hands on there no gauntlets i guess a pan and it's resembling a dragon swing if you have a look at this uh, let me get rid of the katana for a second here like if you have a look at the cape now comparing this to this armor looks surprisingly similar doesn't it at least the cape and the shape of a wing this one not though um right pretty cool stuff so i think i'm going back to the oh right i forgot um here communion with bayer sadly we can't duplicate this thing here we have these two spells now i'm not getting any of these they require a cane i feel like uh, for pve against npc type characters i feel like bale's flame lightning is better because you can constantly uh, cc them like you knock them down you cast it again they stand up you knock them down again uh, this one feels a bit too slow but probably deals more damage if everything hits especially against bigger bosses but yeah i have no idea not getting any of these now but let's quickly go to the storehouse and i want to also quickly see something Okay, they stack. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Um, and they stack as well, right? Yeah. Or do they? Yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, but this is why I'm doing a short break for you. It keeps on going for me. It's a, it's a break. All right, let's continue the adventure. So what I want to do now is I don't want to fight Mesmer quite yet. Just because <laughs> let's see how, my, how how long we can delay that fight. Um, let's quickly have a look at the map. There are the Rawa ruins that I still have to do. And well, I've unlocked the map because of no. Let's see, where... Oh no, never mind. For some reason I thought I, I've already unlocked the map because of the uh, the mod, the, the seamless code mod. Uh, the short detour, but no... That one was down here somewhere, right? The, the map could be found somewhere in the base. Right, what I want to do today, or doing now, not today, because this is the same recording, I want to keep going this way. I want to keep going this way and we can reach that by, excuse me, going over here, I think. Um, let me rip the other helmet. And what I've, what I forgot, let's grab the HP regeneration, put it in here. Where is it? HP, where are you? There you are. Yeah. And I wanna revert these back to their preform. I don't even I'm not going to use Dragon Eyes, am I? And let's keep it in there anyways. Right, ignore these dudes this time. And go down the elevator. Don't wanna use this 
this weapon is my question now. Ah, let's just do it, why not? Not going to find uh, fight any dragons now, but I mean it's still good. That took quite a lot of hits. Maybe it's not that good. Uh, let's see, are there any, any hidden walls here? Because I can't remember. I don't think so, but who knows? Ah, guess what? Uh, where is it? Let's just use this one to be sure. And maybe I want to switch my weapon up anyways. Uh, I don't really like that moveset. I know I'm fed rolling. Great. Back to this talisman over here and I can swap this soon for fire damage negation. Hmm. I knew this was coming but still rigged it too late. Grab this item. Ash of War, wa a wall of sparks for a perfume bottle. Not that good. Oh, this one managed to hit me twice. There's still. Uh, how unfortunate. Uh, some cookbook. There are no hidden walls here. I've used the. Shaka. Uh, slow flying project. Uh. Oh, what I missed saying uh, the strange thing about this weapon here. Um, uh, or the Ash of War, I should say, because if we have a look at this weapon, it requires strength, intelligence, and faith, and has a scaling in strength, intelligence, and faith in that order of magnitude. Um, get rid of this idiot. If we have a look, uh, I think the magic damage on this weapon should scale with intelligence, physical damage of course with strength, but the Ash of War, this one, that one scales with faith. Very weird. Very, very weird indeed. Okay, now the big one over there. What's he doing? Oh, this. Some shit on the ground. Oh, here's the other Iris of Grace. I don't need that one. Hefty cracked pot over here. Did I? Know that I think I did. Okay, never mind. Um, anything else? Any more small pot boys? No? That's not a pot boy. That's a disgusting creature. Let's see. This should be a dread. Yeah, don't care about the smaller ones here. Good, and we are finally on the bridge. On this bridge you want to have some fire resistance. Because of a specific caster, a specific fire knight, that casts rain of fire that actually deals damage. And this is the only version of... Um, Rain of Fire that will ever deal damage. Because I don't think they will buff it so that it's somewhat useful. For some reason I don't believe that. And let's add the cape back to the armor. Looks better this way. 
Um, so put in some fire resistance here. And let's go. Open the small door. And then at what point does he start casting? Oh, I can summon torrent here. That might be useful. Um, let's just buff here. Get some beast of vitality in here. And I mean, I'm getting a set of grace anyway, so can even use that. Could have used Golden Valley as well, but why bother, right? Here. No, I want that item. Ah, Torrent is almost dead. Let's see Torrent a bit. It's casting next part. Oh. Apparently I'm too fast for the rain of fire. Hello! It's not hitting me. <laughs> okay, they nerfed his rain of fire as well. Way we got rain of fire and this stupid looking hood. Hood of Salsa, Sage of the Fire Knights. Prodigious amount of cloth What? Wound. Okay, not wound. <laughs> a prodigious amount of cloth wound around it, giving the impression of a greatly swollen head, and wearing it increases intelligence. A disciple of the Elder Wigo, uh, he refused to burn down an old ruin at the risk of his own life. Whatever. I mean, you can't... He, he, how is he super, supposed to burn down a rune if he only has Rain of Fire? Like, you can't burn anything with that. <clears throat> you can't even burn the driest piece of um, flammable cloth or something. I don't know. You can't even burn the most flammable material with that shit. <clears throat> But alright, here we are in the oh-so-great rubber ruins. I don't like this place. It's too big. There's not a lot to do here. I mean, it looks nice. That's the only thing. Uh, we want to go left first, I think. Because this is the side content. You also probably want to have a big weapon for this area. A weapon that you can stagger enemies with easily. Let's have a look at the Shadow Keep from here. Looks quite stupid. I don't know, is it just me or... Did we all had a different... Mm. different level design in mind when we saw this area for the first time in the, in the trailer or something <clears throat> like the shadow keep i mean i imagined something entirely different but oh well it's always that way i feel like at first it's very impressive and then um I don't know, it might be a problem with me, but like the first few playthroughs are amazing, it feels amazing, it's very very fun. But at some point I'm getting I don't want to say bitter, but I don't know how else to describe it. I don't want to say, like, that fits very well, but it's also would be hmm, very, well, it sounds very dramatically, but I grow almost resentful 
because once again I see all the potential that is in this DLC and most of it has not been or hasn't like it's not that great right overall it's a fun experience it's ex it's an extremely fun experience that you don't find in many games but on the other hand i expected more and this feeling of i expected more starts hitting once um uh, once you've seen everything and, and stuff right once you know how everything works once you've seen everything at least that's what's happening with me right now like i'm seeing a bunch of stuff and <clears throat> uh, that i would like to be changed or filled with more stuff to do or, or whatever like i'm growing overly critical but i guess that's that's my problem because don't get me wrong it's a fun dlc right it's probably the best dlc i've played so far but world design wise i must say this is not from software's best dlc it's it's from software's second best dlc i would say the best one was uh, the bloodborne dlc the old hunters i feel like you can't top but they they couldn't top it with this dlc even though <clears throat> playing Elden ring is for me a bit more fun than playing bloodborne but currently for the sole reason because bloodborne is running on a piece of shit like it's running on the playstation and you're locked at 30 fps and it's not ported like why the fuck do they not port it to PC? That's like fuck Sony. Fuck Sony for that. And we can just hope for a Bloodborne 2 or something. And I'm not necessarily hoping for a Bloodborne 2 because the story is already... Like the story is finished but... Or maybe not. I can, you can probably very easily expand on that story, right? On Bloodborne's story, I mean. You can tell another story in the same universe. Maybe our old protagonist is now... The, the creature that you have to stop or something, right? The new plotting entity. Or maybe something entirely different, whatever. I want a game in the same universe with a similar similar combat system, but this time for PC, please. I mean, also for PC. It's it's fine if they release it on every single platform there is, but please also PC. Um. But yeah, Raw Raw Ruins is one of these areas that I'm never going to look forward to i'll be looking forward to finishing this area every time i play through this game because i mean it looks amazing and by the way this is the area down here where we get teleported to with the teleporter in in this place here that that's that's the area i mean this area looks nice right but it's so empty and the parts that are filled with enemies first of all there is no unique enemy to this place like there i take that back there's uh, there, there's one enemy that is somewhat unique to this place and i say somewhat because it's a i was there right because it's a somewhat um not reskinned, but it's a crucible knight with a unique move set and weapon, right? So, somewhat unique. Let's just teleport up here. There's nothing down there, I think at least. Might be wrong though. Don't care. Um, 
And this is a sad part, like... One criticism that I have of this DLC is enemy variety. Uh, there are a few enemies that I absolutely dislike, for example the normal citizens of this game, like all these black blackish sprites. I don't think they look good at all. It feels like they were too lazy to put a actual texture on them, or to create an actual texture for them. I don't care about the lore implications, right? So if these are spirits that are dead but yet alive, what I don't care about that. It looks like shit. Do it better next time, right? Like th these dudes. You can't tell me that this looks good to you. It looks absolutely shit. And then why are these here, like? Where is the new enemy type? Then there's a curse blade behind us. Let me grab this item first. Thank you. Okay, now to you. Ah, oh, we can trade all day, I don't care. Oh, alright, I can swap back to something useful here. There's no longer fire damage close by, at least not in this part. And the, this is probably, in my opinion, the most disappointing area. Eh. Torrent. Nope. Ah. Controls are sometimes a pain. And I really hope that the next From Software game with multiplayer function, with good multiplayer function, like with actual good PvP, no Bloodborne bullshit, for example, no. Excuse me, no Dark Souls 1 instant backstab, like, like just good PvP, like in this game. Or in Dark Souls 1, uh, 3, I mean, or even in Dark Souls 2. I like Dark Souls 2's PvP as well. Like, I, I just hope that their next game will be no open world game. Because while it's fun going through the open world, the fatigue is too real. Like, just doing a full playthrough takes up so much time and it's so draining because, like, most areas, especially the dungeons, aren't... they aren't fun. At least not for the second or third or fourth time. At least not for me. And going through the entire game that way, it, it takes ages and it's... ugh. Right. So I hope their next game will be a Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Sekiro, something like this, right? With good level design, a extremely good story, but to be, to be honest, every story was good so far, even Dark Souls 2's story was decent enough. Ugh, stop it. Isn't there one on the side here? Okay, this one saw me. Come on! Would be nice to see a linear game then. And please, a Dark Souls S game. I, I haven't played Armored Core. I don't even own Armored Core because I don't like the concept, I don't like mechs or robots, whatever, I, it's not my setting. Doesn't matter if the game is good or not, it's not my setting, I don't enjoy that setting. And thus I'm not going to play it, ever. Ah, 
Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe I'm having fun playing this, but I don't know. I I don't even want to try it because the setting. I I don't care about it. Even though I've played like, what's the game called? Titanfall, where you also have a mech. But honestly, Titan, uh, this is a big difference, right? The one is purely mech, and then interesting Souls-esque combat, but different. And the other one is a shooter. Yeah. But it's a vaguely similar setting. I mean, you have mechs. Then that's the similarity. But honestly, that game's story was trash too. But well, not necessarily trash, but somewhat uninteresting. Oh. This is why I'm not regaining any health. What? There we go. Not giving me back my health, idiot. Oh, this is a fleeing one. No, 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 no. You stay here. Oh. Okay, let's see. Somewhat... I need to somewhat concentrate. Here's a door, there's a small entrance. Let's see where I want to go. Is this one throwing a spot right at the moment when I'm finished with this? We will see. Let's see what we have here. Some snails, don't care. There's a spirit spring, don't care either. And then there is nothing in here, okay. Cool. Whatever. I don't even know what this area is supposed to be. These are ruins. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but, like, what, what, what is this building for? Like, what are these ruins for? Uh, to fall for what what is their purpose there is there are vases and stuff so is this where you bury your dead or is this where people lived kind of hard to believe that one um like what what or is this some some kind of temple hard to say because it's just so empty that I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Um, right, then give me that. There is another curse blade. Can you stop slow walking towards me? Surprise, I should have done a heavy attack. Oh, I still hit him behind me. Ah. Bonk. Astonishing how many times he missed me. Some stuttering. Um, I'm going to record a bit longer until until I'm at the at the next uh, set of grace. I think after the crucible night, or also like down there. There's the crucible night. <sighs> oh, thank you. What a kind offer. So let's see what's down there, because this is the place that I haven't explored yet. Oh no, you're not casting. All right, we're at this point here now, I remember. Let's grab this one, don't care about the drop, at least not now. A little more scorpions. That's oh, not killing them. Okay. 
Then let's two, let's use two ashes of war. I don't know. There are more scorpions in here, right? Hello, do the ash of war, please. I was hoping to hit the other one. How unfortunate. Hello, where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Just looking at the ceiling if there are any more of these. Uh, there is one more. Alright. Gimme that, gimme, give gimme give that. So let's see, going this way, this is the drop of the dude, and this is where we came from. Good. Let's continue this way. See if there is anything over here that is somewhat interesting. Because it doesn't look like it. Um, we were down there, I guess. Also, honestly, I don't know anymore. Right. Oh, is this where the happy hippo is? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we fought the happy hippo. Down there, at least. Don't drop down. But there is nothing up here. Like... Why even... Probably because at some point you can jump down here, but it's so empty. There's nothing here. It looks nice, but where is the fun? It's it. Is it supposed to like this? Kind of feels like Shadow of the Colossus. And I didn't really enjoy that game that much, like Shadow of the Colossus. The story is cool. But I didn't appreciate the gameplay. Not even... Like, it's not even that there is not that much to do in the game. That's not the problem. The problem are the janky controls, in my opinion. <laughs> At least for me. Hey. I wanna see if there is anything on the sides to grab. Because there is this one item, but I guess this is the area that you're supposed to go when you want to corp. So you have a way down here without torrent, because in corp you obviously... Why did I do this? I wanted to drink this to heal torrent. But then we have this spirit spring over here, which is the other one that we saw from, from up there. So this just leads back around. And this for the most part is just one small tunnel. Like we have this side room over here with just this item. Find Crucible Feather Talisman and then there are just a bunch of flies. I don't want to fight them. Flies are shit. There are too many in this DLC. Another enemy type that I dislike. Nothing new to see here. There's this one item up there. Let's grab that thing. Come on. Gimme, gimme. Shadow rune. Shadow Relen rune, excuse me. And then we are already almost at the end. I'm going to kill that Crucible Knight in time. But first, just in the case, just in case, I want to grab the Grace first and pick up this thing. Here we have the Ash of War, Dry Leaf, Whirlwind. Uh, where's my Grace? Should be over here, right? Get the Ancient Runes cross message who wrote this thing. 
Message left by Dry Liftain, addressed to kindred spirits who also pursue Mikla's trail. We found the ceiling tree just ahead, but if we are to burn it, we need the proper kindling. Uh, that of Sir Mesmer. Yeah, I haven't killed Mesmer yet, but doesn't mean I can't go here. Let's activate the Side of Grace, and let's fight the Crucible Knight. No one is dealing holy damage, so I will use protection of the earth tree. Let's see how much holy protection do I get? 80%, that's good. I can't use that one. Oh, wrong one. Let's debuff. Such a cool spell, sadly we can't use it. Ooh. Oh. Devonia. Let's read it. Um Great hammer wielded by Devonia, longest serving of the Crucible Knights. Weapon forged of primordial gold, marked by its reddish hue, and inhabited by an ancient holiness. A torrent of life is engraved upon the striking face. <clears throat> and then we get Crucible Hammer Helm. Um, helm won by Devonia, longest serving of the Crucible Knights. Holds the power of the crucible of life, the primordial form of the earth tree, strengthens aspect of the crucible incantations. It is said Devonia quested in search for the crucible's origin and departed from the lands of the earth tree alone. Ah, crucible incantations. Ah. Like there are so many, like not so many, there are two missing if I remember correctly. This one, whatever this is called, Crucible, Aspect of the Crucible Stampede or something, I don't know. The one with the centaur legs that she, she just did. And then the best one, Crucible, Aspect of the Crucible Tongue, or Lick, or whatever you want to call it. That uh, the, the boss in this in the fog no not no no was correct in the fog rift fort the black knight that uses that one where you literally create a mouth with a long tongue to grab someone and pull them towards you why is that one not in the game like the aspect of the crucible tongue or lick or whatever Tritongue butthole or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Bunch of stuff missing. Um, but anyways, this episode is over. I hope you had fun. And I see you in the next one. Goodbye.